Hello, my name is Kai Watt, and I'm part of member of Team Magnificent Seven. And this is our some of our features feature in the um, Jumpman 64 project for Milestone One video. As you see, this is our main menu, and we're able to select certain our options. Give us our music volume of up and down sound effects. And we're able to go back. Here we have our credit screen, which shows every person on our team of Russell, Scott, Ivan, myself, Matthew, and Joseph. And we're able to go back. And let's get playing. As we, as you can see, we are able to make a simple features of some of our features in the game. And we have full camera control. We're able to turn our camera a full 360 to give the player a full view of the whole scene. And when we start, our controls are with the arrow keys. We can move forward, backwards, left, right, and strife. Our goal is throughout the game is to collect the coins. And as we're collecting the coins, we get a score value. And with our score value, we're able to keep reaching up until we hit a certain value number. And every time we hit 100, we get an extra life. And as you hear, here's one of our hazard features is the lava pit. And when the player hits the lava, they would hit, go right back to the starting point. And over here, we have two different checkpoints. And once the player interacts with the checkpoint and they hit another hazardous area, they would go back to the first checkpoint they hit. But if a player goes hit another checkpoint in a different area and hit a different hazardous zone, they would literally go back to the checkpoint they hit last. But if, say for instance, if the player has to go back and forgot something or a missing coin, they want to complete 100% and they return back to the checkpoint, they're able to go back and start from the last checkpoint. Um, this is Kyle, and I do appreciate you listening to our video. Thank you so much, and have yourself a wonderful day.